We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as America. Which, uh, hey, I'm gonna, before we get into anything, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you, Aki. I'm out there doing the work of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, and true faith and sincerity. So we come out here, as I was saying, week in, week out, to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass king, which gives you. You pussy beggars and you, you you tough guys, you know the balls, right? To 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 come up against to, the men of the Lord, right? You're right to talk your shit, man. Like you really gonna do something, man? But hey, you need to know something. America is falling, and so will that tough guy act, man. Cause we had this guy up here talking shit because his woman out here eyeballing brothers. And he he wanna he wanna puff up it up. You know? Right. So you know what I wanna bring out third brother in uh, Jeremiah for the 51. Oh uh, yes. Strong sir. men have forborne the fight. Uh -huh. Because that's exactly what's gonna happen, man. Y'all puffing up right now because society is is is, is still standing. But when all things go back to that that manly ancient spirit where it's it's uh survival of the fittest. Get in where you fit in, do or die, and we're going to see how tough you motherfuckers are, man. God. For a lot of this shit, man, that, that you know, you you guys, man, a lot of things y'all do and, 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 and say, it's just an act. Y'all right. put on acts. And the men of the Lord ain't going to be swayed by your acts, man. Your tough guy acts. I don't know exactly what scripture uh, 30. 30? Okay. Yeah, I was gonna start at uh, I was gonna, I was gonna start at 18. Yo, yeah, that's cool. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 19. It says, "The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name." So, hey, that's that's spiritual. Because uh, me and the brother was talking before we we started the live stream about how these devils, man, when I say devils, I mean you so-called white people, man, eat them according to the scripture. Y'all are the devil. Done. And all y'all can do is imitate. Right. Y'all are not creators. Jacob is the former of all things, meaning we are the creators right. under Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The elect created all this with Yahweh Shah. And all Satan can do is give you a carbon copy, right. which the brother was talking about earlier, man. You know? So how did you work that? Uh, about the devil? Yeah, oh, yeah. The, artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, artificial intelligence. You know, I was just I was just briefly briefly talking to the brother about something I was meditating on earlier today on how yeah. uh, Esau will come up with these words and he'll push this vibration, but that vibration is really confusion, you know? Because he has to replicate what something is in order for it to be his. So whereas we have the truth, he has the darkness. And so you can't, uh, uh, what he pushes is confusion. What we push through the spirit is order. So when you hear a term like artificial intelligence, it's an oxymoron. You can't have something that's artificial and still intelligent because intelligence comes from Yahweh by Shimei Shah going back to exactly. back to yeah. the former of all things. And one more point before you uh, make your next point, brother. That's also another uh, thought for when all of the rest of these clowns come up here trying to fight. Yahweh by Shimei Shah is a man of war. You know, and, 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 and so scriptures even. Uh, Say in, in, in uh, Psalms how uh, Yahweh by Shimei Shah said, I believe uh, to Dan, uh, to King David to uh, teach my hands to war. Oh yeah, King David. Yeah. You know, so so Psalm so 18. the water. So so what what's going on here is is uh, 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 Esau is replicating or trying to duplicate what Yahweh by Shimei Shah has already set up, and he right. can't. You know, because we are the former of all things. That's right. So it's like you see now, man, you look at Africa. Well, that was known as the land of Ham. Right. But this devil, he takes over things and he names it so he can, 
it puts his vibration on it, then he can he can lay claim on it. Right. And then you got Negroes who are so bad about it running around talking about they're African American. Another oxymoron. Exactly. So yep. You're neither African nor American. Nope. You know, and America was also known as the land of Canaan. You know? Because Canaan, the, the Canaanites first came to this land. When you see those big old mech heads, mm -hmm. those are Canaanites. Done. You know? This was known as the land of Canaan. And, and Esau came over. Oh, now, now this is America. You know? But see, that's just going back into this artificial construct that this devil then placed everybody in. It said that uh, he put a veil over all the nations. That's why now, again, back to you African-American Negroes, y'all are Israelites. Calling yourself by your slave master name. You know? So the same with the Chinese, Japanese, the, the uh, Arabs. The Japanese are Ammonites. The Chinese are Moabites. See, we got to get back to the biblical things, the biblical nature of creation. Because what the devil is doing through his, through his witchery, his sorcery, witchcraft, is destroying everything. He has placed the whole world in gross darkness. But anyway, we can go back to these scriptures, brother. Uh, real quick, All right. that uh, uh, Exodus 15 and 3. Cool. The cool. Lord is a man of war. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai is a man of war, man. He invented it. He created it. Right. So he's the master of it. Boom. So, you know, when they say that the devil shall make war with the saints and, and uh, there shall be war in heaven, right, the heavenly father is putting that spirit on them. He's imposing his will upon their will because they're really not going to want to fight. Right. See, they think they want to fight now. But when they actually see them crowds clap, crack, sign letter, right. fear is going to fall over them, dread. Yep. But the Heavenly Father is still going to put it in their spirit to fight anyway, right. to accomplish his will. But, right, they even know there's no winning against you, how we and how we shot. But Satan on the left hand side is pumping them up to put them in the most highest trick bag. So they gon' they gonna fight. And they're gonna lose miserably. Horrible. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a man of war. Right. That's right. Yeah, bro. God, God. The scripture says uh the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And so when this dude came up, you know, hey, if we were carnal men, we would have just went to blow. But it, it, it wasn't even it wasn't even worth it. it like you said, they magnified it. Yeah, yeah, they blew it all out of proportion. They, they blew it all out of proportion. Yep. When really all we wanted to know was, okay, like, 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 do you have a question or something? Because the way you looking, you looking intently at me. And you got a husband. But but enough of these clowns, man. <laughs> oh, oh, one, one more point. Uh, the reason why I brought that up as far as uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual through Yahweh by Shemi Shah, is because we're fighting a spiritual fight. We're going to lose carnally. Not that we couldn't go toe-to-toe, to -to -toe, but what I'm saying is we're going to get thrown in jail. You know, they, they're going to confiscate all our stuff. You know, we're going to be in jail for the next two or three days. Because both of us, you know what I'm saying? They're going to they confiscate your phones. We've been down that road before. You know? So, so scripture tells us, like, oh, okay, we use wisdom amongst the heathen. And that's what just happened. That's a war tactic. Mm -hmm. You know? Because war, wars and battles aren't just, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, physical. Right. They're, it's they're a technical. saying that the war is won even before you get on the battlefield through strategy and thought. That's right. Yeah, so so that was the point. Preparation, strategy, all that goes in, into, or comes into play when you talk about warfare. Gone. You see? Gone. It's back in Jeremiah 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Israel is the rod of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's inheritance. And rod represents power. Boom. We are the power of his inheritance, man. Not you heathens. Not you white folks, man. Y'all are going into slavery. The Heavenly Father despises all you Edomites. Huh. You so-called white people. The goddamn devil. The Heavenly Father despises you. And the same goes for us. 
But we're not going to get physical with you. Right. We're going to use this woke. We're going to get spiritual on your your crap ass. God. You know? <laughs> right, because that's how they lose. And right. we that's win. Lose. You know? Exactly. We, anytime you engage with these damn crackers, man, you lose if you go carnal. Okay? God. You, you win if you stay spiritual. And that's exactly what happened. You know? They started crying to other people, hey, won't you get these guys over here before I do something? But like the elder said, when you out by Shemel Shah return, all you so-called white people are gonna be licking the dust, man. That's right. You're gonna be begging for the men of the Lord to have mercy have on you. Mercy on your bitch ass. You know? But that rod is gonna be on your ass of correction. Well, actually, rod of judgment, you know, mm -hmm. which is also the rod of correction. Because yeah. that's how you're going to learn. You're going to learn not to talk against the men of the Lord. You're going to learn not to blaspheme Yahweh by Shemir al -Bashai. All these things you're going to learn, the things in which we've, we, we, we're we learning through the Spirit, Yahweh by Shemir al -Bashai is, is teaching us through our, our, our elders, our apostles. You're going to learn, as they say, the hard way. We're going to learn the hard way. <laughs> we learn, we, we're learning through the trial by fire, spiritually. Right. We're being reformed by this word. Con. Two thirds don't want to be reformed by this word because they're caught up in this construct, this, this uh, matrix. But it's going to get them destroyed when the matrix go, then they have to go. But yeah, brother. Verse nine, uh, 20. Huh. It's Jeremiah 51 and 20. That's right. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. But Jacob, <laughs> you so-called were one-third. Right, that's of right. Of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because two-thirds mm -hmm. of up? You, what's up, man? You ain't going to, hey, what's happening? Two-thirds of you not going to bust a grape. Right. You know, y'all love this white man to death. Mm -hmm. It's an ongoing love affair between two-thirds and this white boy. Y'all take up for him, man. Hard. Y'all go hard for this devil, man. You so-called white people. Crack-ass devil. Two-thirds of all people go hard. Well, and not all of them, because you do have some two-thirds that'll tell you that, yeah, this white man is the devil. But that's as far as they'll go. Right. They won't stand out here and, and stand up for the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's sake. And stand strictly for the word of the Most High. But they do know that the white man is the devil. Because his track record shows that constantly. You know, you can look at his history. You can look at his present day actions. Right. And see that this man is a goddamn devil. Everything about him spells out D-E-V-I-L. The, the goddamn devil. Even how he walks around as being innocent. Mm -hmm. See, that's the devil. Mm -hmm. own, own up to your devil tree. Right. Your devilhood. Embrace it. You know? Don't walk around with this who me attitude. <laughs> yeah, you, you goddamn devil. <laughs> we know you, man. Right. The scriptures got you lock, lock, stock, and barrel. And we believe in every word of this of this scripture. God. So we know you the devil. Running around here playing innocent shit. That's what the devil would do. He's the ultimate hypocrite. That's the essence of being the devil. A deceiver. Hypocrite is an actor. You white people are great actors, man. Right. Y'all act like great men. Right. Great people. But you are despicable. Y'all are abominable. Y'all are the wicked of the earth. Very scum of the of humanity, right? You, your people, y'all are the very scum of humanity, and they know it, right? That's the reason why they don't turn around. They know it. They don't ever yeah. defend themselves. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm telling. Hey, it's a valid point. I always use. You know, if, if someone was accusing me about things that I'm not guilty for, I'm at least have a rebuttal, right? But hey, man, what you talking about? Huh. You know. Like, no, look, you must not know about this, or you must not know about that. None of the Edomites ever say that, because they can't, you know? And, and I was going to say one more point about yeah, how uh, uh, you were talking about two-thirds, and, and um, they're all words, and you had made mention of action. Yeah. We, we we out here showing our faith by our works, uh, work. you know? So, so yeah, mo most people, they'll, they'll say, yeah, man, uh, so-called white man is a devil, but like you were saying, there's no follow-up. 
Exactly. And, and if anything, you got guys like Pol Polite, Sarnetta, they they just use it as a a, a marketing ploy. Yeah, that's them. Yeah. That's it. You know, it's it, they yep. they've commercialized calling the white yeah. man the devil. <laughs> that's horrible. Right. They have. You know. They commercialized that that uh, black power. Right. That that uh. That, that movement, that whole uh -huh, movement. Uh -huh. Right, they commercialize it. That's why we tell you, man, don't get, don't get into this, this black conscious bullshit, man. People getting played every day, man. I'm falling for their bullshit. But yeah, bro. Gun, quick precept, because you were talking about earlier about these damn practices. This is uh, Zachariah 11 and 5. It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. <laughs> yeah, this white boy, man. See, he'll slay you all day long and walk around, but when you call him the devil, you know, if they do have something to say, they'll say, who, me? That's how, yeah, this slavery was horrible, but that, that was back then. I, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Oh, yeah, really? But you, you benefiting off of it? That same blood that was shed that built this empire. Right. That you exercising white supremacy in. And you gonna try to distance yourself from that, disassociate from it? Right. No. You are very part of the problem because you are, are giving your energy into this system. You ain't you ain't donating money to, to uh, black people. You ain't doing nothing for, for the Hebrew Israelites. You know? So you just as bad as the ones. If you what? If you were not the ones, because some of you are the ones that was back then. Right. Yep. Hanging niggas from trees. So if you if you taking part in this system, you just as bad. That's right. Yeah, bro. They uh, what do they call it? You and a uh, accomplice. Yeah, accomplice. Yeah. Accomplice. accomplice. Or, or you or you were uh, complicit because either you're for something or you're against it. Aiding in the bed. Exactly. And, and and that's what the society pushes. Confusion, lies. Yep. You know? Hide hiding, putting those things uh in the dark to, to where they won't be revealed. To where the society I'm to tell you, rain, see the snow. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know it. Uh to where the society actually uh what is it called? Has pity on these damn crackers. Right. You know? Yep. They're like, oh, well, yeah, that was so long ago. Well, damn, they, hey, if it was so long ago, they, they got Bill Cosby ass, yep. you know? And, 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 and uh, uh, who, who was the other dude? The boxer, uh, Jack Johnson, Jack Johnson yeah, yeah. you know? The man act. The man act. Yep. A lot of things in which Esau and, and all these damn crackers do, they hold themselves not guilty, man, regardless of whatever it is. You know, we had talked about that last week as well. When, when he crafts these laws, these laws are written against Israelites. Right, like the man act. That was just to stop them from dealing with their women, you know, because he was popping them white women, he saw didn't like it, so he framed mischief by a law. Mm, you you know? know? Yeah, Gun. you can't go across state with, uh, you'll get charged with prostitution or, or pimp pandering mm -hmm. for going across state line. And, and a lot of times, them white women were... Coming to him. Right, but uh, even he, he, cause he had a white wife, and they were still trying to get him with the man hat. Uh -huh. See, it's the devil. It's the goddamn devil. And, and, and these are just forms of Esau slaying our people. You know, we talk about words, we talk about these this yep. sorcery, these wicked ass holidays, voting. You know, all, right. all, all of these things, slowly but surely, he's impaling you, you know, and, and carving out mischief. Man, this is Zechariah 11 and five. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they, and they that sell the say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Mm. So, so yeah, that, that, that's what Esau does, man. He'll slay our people and hold hold themselves not guilty. He'll have the blood all on his hand. Yeah. He'll have a murder weapon in his hand. But that goes to show you how Esau's society